here back with you on part four of my entertainment walls project and we did get the stone in today actually we got it in a couple days ago today is friday we got it in before thanksgiving a whole pallet i helped him unload it late in the evening one evening last uh last week i think it was wednesday or thursday before or tuesday or wednesday before thanksgiving so i've got the uh, stone to go on actually here's a sample piece right there so i'm getting prepared now I did purchase this L channel to go all the way around the fireplace and the doors to give it a nice clean finish where that stone would uh, match up to the fireplace edging. Here it is, the L channel. I'll put it, the link to it in the description below this video. It's plastic so it can be cut very easily and attached very easily. So I'm going to put it all the way around the fireplace here to give it a nice clean edge. So when you open the door, it's a nice clean edge and not a jagged or uh, unfinished edge of the stone. So that's what I'm aiming for here. Also, I did put some up lighting in that are, it's gonna go behind the beams up here. I put one up there on that wall and two, one on each side behind that beam over there. So it's gonna give us some up lighting. So in the evening time, remember how I told you it was so dark in here, we're gonna have lights now. So that's gonna be cool. And they're gonna be hidden behind our faux beams when we get the faux beams. And it's gonna give us some lighting in here, ambient lighting. They're dimmable and they're smart lights. They're from Nova Stella. You might've seen the video for my outdoor lighting and I use these lights. I'll leave the link to that video up here. Anyways, let's get started with putting this L channel on first. There we go, nice clean edge all the way around the fireplace. Like I ran into my first predicament, well, two so far. Uh, this one here, I had to tuck that stone back in behind this little leg of molding here, which is no problem. I took a little handsaw and cut an uh, angle in there and I was able to fit it behind there. So that's looking nice, clean and finished. I got this nice straight edge here. Some of it you'll see will show the top of the stone. No problem because we do have the multicolor touch-up paint that we can uh, apply to that and all these here. Now my second piece, the length almost ended right where my uh, what 45 degree angle is here and that's not good. It's not giving me enough to work with. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is cut somewhere around here off of that second piece there. And I think I'm going to make it a 45 degree cut and the other one going up against it, an opposite 45 degree cut to kind of give it a hidden seam. And then I can cut this L shape here, right here at the end uh, with a 22 and a half, uh, 22 and a half degree angle right there to meet with the other stone going back against the wall there. Wish me luck. Now when you cut an angle with the Ryobi saw, you don't get all the way through the thickness. So I carefully turn this over and finish scoring this with a utility knife.
it up for the night anyway. And I'm going to sit back and have a nice cold one and just look at this work. This looks fantastic. The fireplace, it turned out great. Now, I, I've just got it tacked up with my uh, Ryobi Brad Nailer. And that works great. I might do it since I sheeted it with uh, plywood, quarter inch plywood. I might get some uh, longer brad nails. I think I already have some in the garage and hit certain spots of this with the longer brad nails, maybe two inch brad nails all the way around. And I might just have it attached with brad nails on this uh, part of the installation process right here. It's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And all I have to do is do some light caulking on my seams, my corner seams, uh, really nowhere else. And then I got the, uh, the touch up paint kit that I'll do. Oh, I might do some caulking right here along the edge here on down there. And then on the edge of the stones, I can do the uh, touch up paint kit there and touch that up. So it just looks like the edge of a stone and down there, we've got some touch up paint to do. No big deal. When you step back far away, the project is looking amazing now. And then tomorrow I'll get started on that taller wall section with this same stack stone. Like this this is a 45 degree angle right here I did a 22 and a half inch cut on this side save the piece here that butts up next to it I have had that piece right out here and this was the cut that we made on the piece inside 22 and a half angle but now we need the angle to be reversed we need it to go this way 22 and a half and we want to use the same piece because it's got the same uh, stone blocks in the same spots so we want it to look like it's a angled piece of the same stones going all the way down so we want to use the same board so we're going to do a 22 and a half here what I did was I did uh, an inch and three quarters over so that I can do the opposite cut going this way so that's what you'll want to do we want the opposite angle going this way. Okay, we've got our opposite angle cut. Let's go see how it fits against our other piece right here. See how I told you how the, uh, the stones kind of line themselves up together? So you're gonna have a pretty good match. That's how you do the angles. nicely um, this is one of the more difficult rows not only do you have the 45 but we have two outlets it took some time getting those in I had to put an extension sleeve in there and chiseled out the uh, some of that stone for the faceplate to fit in there nicely and what I used was just a chisel like this and it's almost like, it's got like a skin on it that's colored and then the rest is almost like styrofoam. So you can almost use this chisel by hand to do around your outlets. <clears throat> so it looks like I gotta go another piece to that 45 end there. And then all these holes will be covered by the stone. The next difficult part will be cutting out for the thermostat area right there. And then it's 
on up to the rest of the way there. Okay guys, what I did is I got the Ryobi circular saw and I was able to set it to 45 degrees and I cut it on the back side of this panel at a 45 degree. It doesn't go all the way through. So I've got this keyhole type saw, hand saw, and this works to go ahead and get that all the way cut through. Crazy cover. test it out. Now I'm going to have to cut out a piece uh, at the base molding right there, that part. See that? But it's going to be a nice angled cut meeting up against our 45 degree angled wall. Place it over there. just going to do a recap you guys saw how I attached the faux stone panels they're pretty lightweight easy for one person to do this project and it all comes together looking very nicely when you do a lot of stone panels together like this on a huge wall and we attached it with two inch drywall screws in my case I had drywall behind here uh, attached to half inch plywood behind the drywall so two inches got through there and really suck these panels in to the drywall with the attachment of the plywood with the screws there. As you can see here, I did a 45 angle cut on my panels from bottom to top. And it leaves a nice finish of your stone jagged edge here. I like that finish with the jagged edge instead of a straight edge that's going to stick out. And we only had this one seam here, a 45 angle seam. And if I get you in closer, we got a really tight, clean cut on this seam. So that makes up less time for the touch up and less caulking you have to do here. I'm gonna show you that next step, just stay tuned. And I also cut in 
for our Nest thermostat right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of caulking inside here. And you say, Todd, why I'm seeing the inside of the styrofoam panel. I don't, I don't like that. I don't either, but you'll see how we work our magic in the next step because in the next step, we're gonna be using our touch-up paint kit that comes with your color palette of the stone faux, faux panel that you purchased. <clears throat> so we're gonna use that touch-up paint kit after we caulk this one seam going down here. And you'll say, well, why not do the seams on this? You've got a seam over here. I'm gonna hold off on that because I might have to remove these top faux stone panels when the wood beam uh, mantle comes in because that's gonna sit down like L shape and come down about four inch lip of wood beam. So I might have to cut those off. That's why I'm not gonna finish that up just yet. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to do the caulking next. paintable caulking and the instructions say on this you can wait 40 minutes and actually start your painting on this caulking. So I applied some into the seams there and I'm going to take my finger there with a wet cloth and go ahead and wipe that down. I like to use the clear caulking because once it dries if you get some that's spread out over top of the stone you won't see it. Remember, don't leave any holes or gaps because if you have any holes or gaps, you won't be able to apply your touch-up paint kit to it and it will just be a hole or a gap. Remember, it's going to dry clear as well. All right, I'm all done caulking and this is how you actually want it to look. And it looks like there's caulking that's spread over some of the stone. Don't worry about that. All that can be painted now that you have a surface. It's a paintable caulk surface. And once that dries, it'll dry clear, but now you'll have something to paint over instead of a gap. I also got inside here, removed the Nest thermostat, did a nice bead all the way along there so that our touch-up paint kit can go all in there and really blend these colors into there and really make the thermostat stick out on this stone wall. All right guys, this is where the magic happens. We're doing our touch up paint now. Just watch and watch how I do the brush strokes and blend these four different matching paints to this palette. And let's see if we can hide this corner.
wrap it up for part four guys of this video entertainment walls today we were able to get the faux stone panels on did the touch-up painting and we've got it on the fireplace now and this big entertainment projection screen wall now you might say hey it kind of looks like wallpaper from a distance if you're here in person i'm going to tell you it is really remarkable outstanding if you take a closer look maybe a side profile look these do look like actual individual stones. And our touch-up paint did well on hiding the uh, edges of the faux stone panels and the corners, also around our outlets. They blend in. Guys, don't forget, subscribe now so you don't miss part five, the finale. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the finale. I thought this one was going to be, but we didn't receive our wood faux beams. And that's going to give this the finishing touch. So guys, make sure to come back, part five, and see the grand finale of the entertainment walls. And I'll see you on that next video. Keep me on my feet. Turn on projector. To the beat, my favorite song. Keep it on repeat, please don't let it fade, just say you want. Raise the TV.